Ibrahim is claimed by the Muslims. I showed you how in the first point I made, how connection his connection is to Islam. But we're not the only ones who claim him. Jews claim him. Jews take pride in being the religion of Abraham too. They call themselves the religion of Abraham too. But I tell you something. It's ironic that when the Quran gave da'wah to the Jewish community in Medina, they said, no thank you, we don't need your Quran, we already have what we follow. We don't have to think about this new revelation. We already have our own revelation. And Allah says, وَيَكْفُرُونَ بِمَا وَرَاءَهُ They don't even believe what they have. They even disbelieve in what they have. Forget what Quran, they don't even do justice to Torah. That's what Allah says about them. But you know one thing that's really important here is Ibrahim, people, you know, you, you may have heard this. The Quran says that there are people who did not accept the prophets because they said we will follow our forefathers. You remember this? We will not accept the prophets because we follow our forefathers. So we don't have to do any thinking. All the thinking was already done by our ancestors. What, whatever they did, they were older than us, they were wiser than us. So whatever they did must be the right thing. So why should we question it? Isn't that the thinking? And if you question what your parents did, or what your grandparents did, or what your great-grandparents did, then it's disrespectful. It's disrespectful. You shouldn't question what they did. You should just follow it. Ibrahim alayhi salam is actually, if you, if you believe in Ibrahim alayhi salam, then you will never be this way. Because his entire life is about asking questions that gets him in trouble. He never stops questioning. Does he question his father? Yep. Does he question a king? قَالَ رَبِّيَ الَّذِي يُحْيِي وَيُمِيد قَالَ أَنَا أُحْيِي وَأُمِيد قَالَ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ يَأْتِي بِالشَّمْسِ مِنَ الْمَشْرِقِ فَأْتِي بِهَا مِنَ الْمَغْرِبِ He questioned the king. He questioned his father. He questioned his society. He asked questions that got him in trouble. Ibrahim alayhi salam will never accept an answer until you provide him evidence. Until you give reason, until it makes sense. Ibrahim alayhi salam is a pure thinker. He is a thinker. He will never take anything at face value. If you and I are the legacy of Ibrahim alayhi salam, then we can never be honored. We can never honor that legacy until we become people who do what? Who think. Who ask questions. Who never take things at face value. Who explore and explore and explore and explore and explore. Who never say, we do this because our parents did it. We do this because their parents did it. Whether you are Muslim or not Muslim, by the way. Whether you're Muslim or not Muslim. Everything you and I do, our definition of right and wrong, our definition of what we must do and what we must not do, what we accept and what we don't accept. أَدْعُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ عَلَى بَصِيرَةٍ I call to Allah with eyes open. That is the legacy of Ibrahim alayhi salam. Never accept anything with eyes closed. 